hello and welcome back hope you're good doing well so we are having a, a buy opportunity or buy setup is just building over there on pound dollar ahead of the uh, you know bank of england rate to see next week so we are having fat rate to see in today and the uh, dollar was pricing in for that rate to see in today so so now we can see that the buying momentum is just shifting over there for dollar sell-off. Market is expecting that uh, Fed uh, gonna, you know, uh, Fed may pause the interest rate hiking cycle, you know, for for after this meeting, after today Fed meeting, Fed rate to see him. So before looking at the charts, we're gonna look at this. Okay, so there we can see that. 25 basis point hike 26th of july and next week we gonna have uh, you know rate the cn on a pound so if i'm gonna look at that on august 20 or august 3 3rd august so they're gonna be a you know rate the cn to raise the interest rate from bank of uh, england all right so they may raise the interest rate uh, you know at least with another 25 basis point to put the the interest rate at interest rate at 525 or 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 if we are going to see a surprise move from the bank of england then 550 all right so this meeting going to be important for the 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 bank of from bank of england so why that meeting is important and why the fed rate uh, you know the cn today is less important as with compared to the bank of england all right so these two meetings so why this is less important and the 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 bank of england meeting is more important let's just talk about that all right so i'm gonna open you know two different uh, uh so i'm quickly gonna look at that uh, these two charts and then gonna explain that into a bit more detail so first of all i'm gonna look at the repricing gap so we call that repricing gap so we're gonna be a bit more down I have a lot of you know asserts added in my watch list so that's the reason you know sometimes you struggle to find the exact exact chart yeah so So there you got so there you got so i'm gonna pull out the pound all right so this chart is telling us that the interest rates are still low simply all right so this is the inflation headline inflation numbers and this is the interest rate and uh, in in you know back in march 2020 or in Ju june july 2020 so so we were close to zero and uh, and 2.90 or close to three this is telling us that inflation is still high in the uk and interest rates are still low and we got a gap all right so interest rate still needs to go above the inflation or inflation has to fall below the interest rate this chart is telling us that so if i'm going to pull out another one on the right side and let's go down so those charts now we know that all the way up to the bottom now so if i'm gonna you know open the us one now so us is there so this chart is telling us that or this chart is telling us that the 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 us interest rate has gone above the inflation the headline inflation yeah so that was the 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 march 2020 or 19 2019 you can say that yes yeah? so 
um, we are at the negative read, so minus or negative 2.25. So we, we broke below zero there, but we haven't broken below zero there. So these two charts are telling us that the policy is very, very tight in the US. Okay, so the Fed policy is is very tight to bring down the inflation but the policy is not tight in the uk yeah so the policy is not tight in the uk so there is a still room for the bank of england to do so if i'm gonna you know uh, the, if i'm gonna open two other charts all right side by side so these two charts are more important than the headline inflation so that's actually the 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 core inflation minus the interest rate so we're gonna have that core inflation so pound pound should be at this side all right so we're gonna open that so pound there and if i'm gonna open the us so us minus core so there we can see that all right so us you know so actually the central banks are more focused you know, on the on the core inflation inflation rather than the headline inflation because the core inflation is embedded in the economy and it's it it's hard to remove the core inflation from the the this the system from the economy rather than the headline inflation. So core inflation is also falling in the U.S. but still at a very high level. Yeah, above five uh, at five, and uh, we can see that the interest rate rates have you know has gone above the 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 core inflation in the you know in the us okay but the core inflation is still very very high in the uk so the interest rate is at at five and the the core core inflation is is sitting at somewhere close to seven percent all right so that's telling us that the, the 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 rates still can go higher in the uk all right to bring down the core inflation and headline inflation so the, this is actually a policy divergence. This is called policy divergence. So policy is diverting between the, the, the UK and USA. So Bank of England has to be more hawkish than the, 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 the Fed to bring down the inflation. So, uh, you know, in the previous dollar index video analysis, I have, you know, shown you that the, 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 the Fed is going to pause. Yeah, so the Fed policy peaked. And we may not see further hikes after today. Yeah, maybe reversal, but we may not see policy reversal from the, the UK anytime soon. So, you know, Bank of England, England still has to keep raising the interest rate. All right. So if I'm going to, you know, uh, you know, simply look at the, the inflation in the UK. So, so not the core one. So the, the headlines. All right. So if I'm going to look at the. The headline inflation in the uk so headline inflation is standing at 7.9 all right and if i'm going to pull out the uh pound g b i n t r i n t r so we can see that they are still lagging behind all right so the interest rate is at five while the inflation the 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 headline inflation is standing at 7.90 so if i'm going to pull out the core all right so core one or core inflation so we got there yeah so there is the core inflation so core is still standing at high all right so seven six point ninety yeah so the interest rate is a five so core is still holding the highest so but what these are telling us actually these are telling us that uh, guys we you know we may see you know a trending move over there on the pound dollar so that's why you know uh, in the previous uh, you know chart which i have posted over there and i was saying that this that was a counter trend move the, the trade you were looking was a counter trend at that place so breakout was possible so we got we got a break up we got a shot them sell opportunity over there yeah on this chart so we got a shot them sell opportunity but we got a breakout over there all right we got a, some you know a sell opportunity over there but we got a breakout so what you know what what is the point behind you know showing you those two charts the charts which i have just shown you over there right? it's so a core inflation and interest rate so that they are telling us that policy divergence is appearing between the 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 
the Bank of England and the the Fed, all right? And it's just simply setting up for a buying opportunity after the Fed read the C. And so once you're going to have, once Fed going to, you know, uh, Fed rate decision. Once Fed gonna decide today, then you are simply looking for this to stay trending, all right? Another move, something like that, all right? And continue to keep pushing more higher. And there is a very good good chance that the 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 pound dollar gonna keep continue to keep pushing more higher all the way up to the weekly top, all right? Or or one forty three areas where we were expecting pound dollar to drop. We we're expecting pound dollar to drop from there. So it can visit, it can, you know, reclaim those highs again. It's it's pushing into that direction, 142 areas. So if I'm going to, you know, look at the lower time frame, okay, let's just simply get to the point now. So there is the 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 move. So, so we were expecting, uh, you know, um, this trade to be confirmed in the, in the, in the, previous comparison so we got a breakout of that wedge price is just pushing more higher so you are looking this to continue to keep pushing more higher okay but there is still a chance that uh, fed can drive the pound dollar lower back to this low these areas all right today if that happens then you are still looking for this trend to continue to keep pushing more higher all right so if i'm going to go to the lower time frame and uh, that's a bigger four hour time frame picture in case if price falls so you are paying attention we got a breakout already, all right? But the breakout is not so strong. Reason is very much simple that the Fed is going to come today. Yeah, that's the reason buying is not so strong. But it is simply pricing in after, you know, the, the pound is just seeing through what, what's going to happen after the Fed rate to see. And that's why we got a breakout, all right? And price is just simply breaking out. So what you are looking this simply, this, you know, expanding triangle price to hold that, okay, and then continue to keep pushing more higher all the way back to that high. You can put your stop somewhere behind there once you're going to get the entries over there and you are looking it to continue to keep pushing more higher. And in case if price break through that floor, okay, and, and visit these areas again, so you're looking for buy again for pound dollar to go back up to this high or break through that top. Hope that makes sense, right? So if I'm going to look at the, I'm going to zoom in a bit this triangle right and there is also a chance that price no gonna visit that triangle in case if that is not going to visit that triangle and continue to keep pushing more higher we need to wait for another correction over there very much similar like this previous one right and and pound dollar to continue to keep pushing more higher hope that makes sense all right thank you